Hello and welcome to week five in social psychology. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at chapters eight and nine, and they're very different. Uh, it's interesting to combine these in the same in the same week. And um, so, looking at chapter eight, we're we're actually talking about one of my favorite uh, developmental psychology concepts, and that is theory of mind. And so in the, in the course book, I kind of dissect what theory of mind really means. And that is a little bit different than the presentation that's in the textbook, that uh, we internalize a theory of the causation of other people's behavior. And with the onset of this ability, I'm able to take into consideration that people are having thoughts that I can't directly observe and those thoughts are primarily responsible for their behavior. It's a very, very important developmental milestone in the develop of perspective taking, which is the constellation of skills that we use for negotiating and navigating our way through the social world as social beings. So in the chapter, I talk about a set of tools that we use that are on a hierarchy, kind of looks like uh, Maslow's hierarchy a little bit, another little triangle, you know, going up in terms of the various skills that we use as we navigate the social world in order to understand our place in it, the expectations of others, our expectations of them, causation of their behavior, causation of our own behavior, and kind of moving from that centric world that exists when we're really young into a much more dynamic and um, uh, more interactive world uh, as we grow into the to the social interactions that that kind of constitute adulthood. The uh, the discussion for that chapter focuses on those tools, as does the quiz. So the discussion is to look at those different tools and how we use them, and the quiz is for you to come up with a new situation in which you had to learn the nuances in a new social situation. So you think about when you got a new job or when you started KV or even this, you know, even transitioning from a face-to-face -face class into an online world, learning the new ways and how you used those skills that are in that triangle to navigate in that, into that new social world. And the assignment takes a detour. I At the end of the chapter, I talk about... Um, conspiracy theories or, you know, structures of society, structures in our society, including a, a display and uh, discussion of my own religious faith and um, as ways in which ideas that we hold and how they might impact the way we see the world um, and how we balance that with psychology and the other sciences that work primarily on science and data. And so... I'm asking you to look at some of those conspiracy theories that are out there and kind of try to see what it would like, see what it'd be like to understand the world from those different perspectives. And then we switch gears. Uh, uh, we're, it's kind of the end of this section in the book, and we're ending off with uh, models of evolution as they apply in psychology, and that's our chapter nine. Now concepts associated with evolution and clearly this is the work of Charles Darwin a little bit of history there a link to the actual original text of the of the book terms like natural selection survival of the fittest which actually as you'll find out was not Darwin but uh, an adaptation others uh, processes that are associated more with the modern application of Evolutionary theory and social psychology include sexual selection, which is competing for the attention of a potential mate. And then there's gene selection, which has a lot more to do with the traits that we look for. And we're kind of throwing that out there as, um, you know, we look for particular traits and characteristics in our partners because they're good for adapting in the world. I mean, we want our kids to have good traits and we pick partners that we believe will be able to provide our children with those traits. And then finally, looking at ad adaptation itself. In the discussion, we discuss those things and in the quizzes, I'm asking you to again, look at your own um, 
experiences in terms of uh, adapting to a new environment and and how did you have to change uh, the way you were doing things so kind of that's the connection between these two i'm asking you to actually look at the in chapter nine i'm looking at chapter eight i'm sorry you look at new situations from the perspective of theory of mind and then in the second one we're looking at okay how did i adapt this but you're looking at it through a different lens you might even use the same situation that'd be kind of interesting chapter eight and chapter nine using the same situation one is through the lens of of theory of mind and the other one is through the lens of evolutionary theory as it applies to modern day psychology so that's our week and i look forward to seeing you in the discussion boards